Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about a new discovery from a completely new telescope that's orbiting our planet Earth. This is a discovery from TESS. Let's talk about this and welcome to What The Math. So even though Kepler mission is technically now finished, even though we're still discovering some of the new exoplanets in the old data, there is now a new replacement and this is an absolutely incredible telescope known as TESS. It's actually um, orbiting Earth and it's, it has a really interesting orbit um, with a 2 to 1 resonance with the Moon so that the Moon basically never disturbs it and it's going to be able in the next few years to discover a tremendous amount of new exoplanets because of the way that it's actually structured. Uh, TESS telescope, um, right here you can actually see it transferring data to Earth, is going to be able to uh, have an 86 degrees view uh, um, as opposed to Kepler that only had like a very small uh, view which was only about uh, 12 degrees for Kepler, so it's actually much larger. This is what it looks like, absolutely amazing. But most importantly, it just had its first discovery. It now discovered a new exoplanet only after a few days of observation. Uh, what's interesting is that this was actually just a test and it was already able to discover a really cool exoplanet in a system where we kind of had an exoplanet before. This particular exoplanet is actually also um, a super Earth, very close to its parent star. I'm going to show you where it's located. It's at a distance of about 60 light years away from Earth. In a system right here with a main star known as Pi Mansi. And um, this particular um, object that we just discovered is essentially, um, it's a super Earth that's extremely close to its main star. Now previously we knew that there was actually a planet here, and this is the planet you see on the screen right now, we knew that there was a gas giant, and this particular gas giant, um, all known as um, Pi uh, Mense B, uh, is actually extremely large, it's about 10 times more massive than Jupiter, and has a relatively similar orbit to Jupiter, uh, at a distance of about 3.4 AU from its parent star, but it wasn't particularly exciting because uh, obviously this is not a terrestrial planet and it's also not really in the habitable zone. Although you can see that the rings here are absolutely gorgeous, very colorful. The new object, however, that was basically just discovered only a few days ago from when I'm making this video, um, is essentially an object that's about 4.8 masses of Earth um, and has a density that's very, very similar to water, suggesting that it's most likely some sort of a terrestrial planet that has a very large um, water-like component to it or possibly has a very thick atmosphere. Um, but because it's so close to its parent star, well, let's actually recreate this in Universe Sandbox so we can see. So first of all, the star itself is just a little bit larger and a little bit more massive than our sun. Uh, so in that sense, it's definitely a very interesting system. Uh, we've considered exploring the system in more detail before. It was, uh, I believe, in top 100 stars that we wanted to investigate for potential terrestrial uh, planets similar to our own Earth, because it is a very similar G-type star. Um, but the planet that I'm going to refer to as Pi Man C, just to make it short, would actually most likely look something like this. A tremendously large lava world. Or at least a very, very hot, um, airy-like bubble thing that is very difficult to imagine because we don't have anything like this in our own solar system, but they seem to be present in pretty much every other star system, so I don't know what happened to ours. There is definitely a lot of speculations going on. But anyway, so um, this is maybe what it looks like. It's very, very hot, definitely not habitable, and most likely too uh, extreme for even a mission, uh, to be honest. But nevertheless, a very exciting find because it is uh, basically the first object discovered by TESS, so I'm not sure what the designation is going to be yet, but it's going to start with TESS, unlike uh, the Kepler mission that always started with either Kepler or K2. And with a mass of about 4.82 masses of Earth, here's actually Earth for comparison, um, and also, let me just place it actually, um, also obviously the radius here is much larger, but the density is very close to density of water, so this is why the planet is so much bigger than our own Earth. So this right here is currently known as uh, Pi Man C, or Pi Man C, C, also known as HD39091C. 
so for now that's all we really know about this particular object definitely an exciting find because it's the first but also because it's um, a terrestrial world out there discovered by TESS the telescope even during this test phase now I'm super excited about the future of test mission itself because it's probably going to discover a lot of objects and really the main difference between this and Kepler is that it's going to be looking at stars that are a lot closer to our sun but in a lot more detail and with a lot more new data that we didn't have before. It's also going to be able to cover pretty much the entire sky as opposed to Kepler that only covered like two patches of the sky which wasn't really enough. Kepler was able to see farther away but TESS is going to be able to see closer uh, within about 300 light years away from our own earth and be able to cover everything. So we'll be able to hopefully find all of the exoplanets in the vicinity of our own planet earth within about 300 light years away from us. So very exciting mission and finally the first find. Anyway that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and share this video with someone who loves learning about space and wants to learn more using simulations and video games. And maybe even consider supporting the channel on Patreon. But either way, come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.